Good morning, you guys. FSC Trucking. We are in Remington, Indiana. I just got my orange juice. Got to start my morning with my OJ. We're just walking over here to my truck, Orwell. Orwell is my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. What we're doing out here is we still got the fire truck and that electrical switch gear right there. Let's go ahead and ditch the OJ and I'll explain what's going on for today's video. It's been an interesting handful of days. It's about a week before we take off on vacation. I got to go to Texas with my camper, my family, my oldest son too, and we're going there to help start setting up my parents' house in Texas. Long story short, my mother's house is going to be built down there. We're going to start working on the property, get it done, get the whole family involved. My mom and my dad, they're moving out of New Jersey finally. The lockdowns of a few years ago have created a medical havoc on my parents due to extended periods of time. The state of New Jersey would not allow my parents to go to the doctors. So now their medical condition has gotten severely worse. My dad has a prostate cancer that spread all over himself. And my mother survived the surgery from a non-cancerous tumor, but survived that surgery and barely. So that's why we're doing it in the way we're doing it. My sister already moved out there to West Texas and mom and dad are moving real close by. Our future, probably Florida. But if things continue to get worse, we might be going to Texas too, who knows. But with that, let's get ahead and start on today's video and what's going on here. So this is my last load for 2021. Thank God, because let me tell you, 2020 sucked. 2021 wasn't much better. And this is the last 2021 load. Uh, well, there is the backhaul coming back, I hope. By the way, we're done with this trip and we're done. We're going to Texas, so we're gonna come back 2022 stronger and better as best as we can. What I have is I still have the switch gear that we picked up the other day in the snow. And then we've got the fire truck we picked up in the snow. Now you guys seen in just recent past videos was a little bit of drama getting it up on a trailer, but not too bad. Like I said, this is an electrical switch gear we picked up. I don't know how good the video came out, but when we put it on there, it was just literally sticking out with a forklift, tie it down, tarp it, we're good to go. Now here in Indiana, finally it got up above 32 degrees and the snow starts melting. Actually, it was a pretty pleasant night last night, sleeping wise. A little bit of wind, I don't know if you could see it or not, or hear it in the mic, but it was a little windy. I anticipate a pretty decent cold start from Orwell. Probably not too much bitching and complaining, but enough. And either way, as you can see, the snow is starting to melt off the fire truck. Now on this trip, we are heading to South Carolina, both the truck and the switch gear go over to South Carolina. So it's gonna get nicer and warmer weather as farther we go. And with the beautiful sky, not a cloud in the sky, actually not a single one. We're gonna plan on washing the truck somewhere between here and there. So I'm tired of it looking all nasty. It'll probably get nasty when we go home. But either way, for a little while, it'll look better for you guys on video. Well, with that, let's go ahead and get Orwell fired up. I'm gonna warm up, let me get the paperwork handled, get my logbook started for today, and then get strolling. much there boys and girls so i was surprised at that it really wasn't that cold but a nice headwind right into the truck cooling the engine off quite rapidly last night so either way let's go ahead and get this thing started oh i'm running out of crap to say all right whatever let's just go i usually listen to while i'm driving steve summer's overnight drive you can find it on youtube he's got his own app there's a few other places you can catch that podcast at but either way, I was listening to a Friday morning show while I got down here. It was a few days late. That show was before the storms had come through. But with that, they were talking about a new thing, and I'll show you the picture. Apparently, death for these trucks, not Orwell, but the m more modern truck, um, is getting to be a hard commodity to find. Now, I was able to find my orange juice, luckily, today at the Petro here in Remington. But the little jugs of urea, the DEF, D-E-F, we call it a diesel exhaust fluid. 
and I got a lot of international subscribers. I don't know what you guys call it overseas, but here we just call it DEF, D-E-F, diesel exhaust fluid. Used to get them in like two or three or one, I never bought them that way, loose in pails, like uh, buckets. That's with the little snout sticking out of them. I mean, it's it's a lot of waste. It's waste. I wonder if there's a lot of, how, I often wonder how much pollution is making all the little plastic containers just to throw them in a landfill to clean up the exhaust and then the trucking to haul the area around. But with that, apparently, it's getting hard to find and the display case in the Petro was completely out. And by the time you see this video, I don't know. I, I have no idea what will have happened. See, I took about a month and a half off. That's why you guys, the videos never were interrupted. But for me, it was a month and a half lag. That's why you see me from wearing a t-shirt to wearing a ripped hoodie. Yeah, I tore my new Peterbilt hoodie. Ah, got to get a new one. Hey, Peterbilt dealer, you should uh, give me a new hoodie uh, sponsor. So apparently, Def is getting hard to find now. So I'm glad I don't need that nonsense. Point is, I wanted to bring up the so-called urea shortage right now. I don't know if it's genuine or not. It doesn't affect me. Let me know in the comments how it affects you guys. Because by the time you guys are seeing this video, it's obviously long after I filmed it. So let me know how it's going for you guys. Now is the time to ask you, please hit the like, hit the subscribe button, share the videos around. You know, I'd like to start seeing these videos popping up on Facebook and such things as that. That way, you know, it helps the channel grow and, you know, helps out, gets out the message, right? With that, let me go ahead and kill the high idle. That's this knob right over here. Just push it in. Just set it. I'll pull it out. And that's to take it away cable driven. Get the brake knob. Always check up on the trolley valve. Make sure that's set right. Away we go.
we caught that or not. Lord knows they are getting wilder, I'll tell you that. I mean, it's two in like, what, less than a minute? I got my food, just ate my Popeyes in the truck, because you can't eat inside. They do have the closed restaurant, I suppose you can actually eat in there to be fair, but I've had a lot of problems with this Popeyes over the years. This is the TA in Wrightstown, Indiana, just north of Indianapolis. The Popeyes, they just root, treat you like a freaking, just, it's real dumb. They're just going to yell at you anyway. Two and a half, I don't even know how that's possible. Two and a half breasts. Obviously, this is a reverse endorsement for the Popeyes and the TA in Whitestown, Indiana. <laughs> 